Yeah, what's good guys? Today I'll be showing you, hopefully in a short video, how to get DLCs for certain games. I'm going to be using, well, I'm not using Steam Tools actually because that doesn't work. Whenever you try to use Steam Tools, this happens. This shit just... Just, just that happens. And then the game won't launch. Wait, I don't think it'll launch on. Will it? Okay, well, Elden Ring launched, but off the torch. No. Close, close, close. Elden Ring launches, but Cyberpunk did not. I kept saying I, I was getting an error in my last video that I was trying to do. So. Don't launch, please. Thank you. Okay. Oh my god. It doesn't work when you're using Steam tools. For specific DLCs, like the ones that require you to download like a patch. They, it doesn't work. You, It only works for DLCs that are already installed with the game. But all you're doing is buying the, like, basically the license to use the, uh, the crap. So... I went to Reddit. I found this on Reddit. Okay, this website, it's Russian, but you can translate it to English. I'll show you what I did, but first I'm launching the game to show you that well, I'm showing you I don't own it. I don't own uh, Phantom Liberty. Nothing is there. It doesn't say it's in my library, but hold on. There's something I do own. Uh, I could do Call of Duty, screw it. Any one of these. Wait, I'm gonna do Black Ops 6 because that was. This would work. This is not Black Ops 6. But as you can see, still. It says it's in my library. But for. Uh, why? Yo. But for Cyberpunk, I don't own it. This was when I used Steam Tools, and it doesn't work, and you can see it's off. So I'm gonna launch the game now. I'm not going into my inventory in the game. Because for some reason, my character is naked. Yeah. I'm happy the last recording cut off because I was not trying to edit anything. I just spawned in. Carried the stream naked. Crap weird. from when I did it like a few months ago I downloaded this torrent I didn't download the whole game because I didn't want the whole game I basically looked for specific like the DLC files for uh, Phantom Liberty I don't remember what I looked for but 
yeah, you're gonna look for the for the DLCs for the game that you're trying to get the DLC for. And then once you find it, you just download it and then you go into your games files and just drag it in here. Just paste it in and that's it. You paste it into or you paste it into its respective folders if the game's DLC is like that. But for Cyberpunk it wasn't. Everything was just there for me once I downloaded it. You don't have to download the whole game either, as I just said. What else was I gonna do? Oh yeah. That's how you get the DLCs that's that are pre-installed when you get the games that you want or own. And now I'm gonna show you how to uh what, what was I gonna do? Wait, hold on. Oh yeah yeah. I was going to show you how to fix the stupid issue when you use Steam Tools and then the game that you tried to get doesn't appear in the library. Um, so basically, hold on. Here's the, this is the server I told you to join, you should be in it already. To fix the issue, uh, why my games don't work, you click this. No, right, wrong one. You click the Steam Tools thing and then go up. You can do this, but I'm not doing that. Because once you do that, you delete, you're deleting your games and your uh, progress. You need this file. This is the file I could not download. I mean, uh, give y'all because it didn't work. It kept getting filed as a virus. So I'm gonna do it now. Yeah. That YouTube video had to put, you know what? I don't even care. Uh, oh my God, bro. Can I just? Download it. Dangerous. Just download it. It's not dangerous. Yo. Okay. You gotta turn off your Windows Defender. Cause this shit is pissing me off. Uh. Yeah, I'm doing this like off my memory. By the way, this is not like. Dangerous file. Okay, let me get that. I like that. There we go. Um, you, you're gonna have this. Oh, also, when you download the games from the the website that gives you the manifest and the lures, you wanna extract the files, or else you can't drag it. Anyway, you download this. You open it. And it converts the ST files to Lua. You know, the files that will actually let the game show up and you can play them. Okay, so that's how you fix that issue. What was another? That was the main issue that I keep seeing up here for people. And another issue, luckily I have a game that has DRM on it. Which is Stellar Blade. So this game I don't own it I'm low-key about to buy it though because this game is fire I got it on a ps5 you can't play it you can't play games that just launch with the DRM or else this happens that you'll get that error you can't fix it or you can if you know what you're doing but I don't know how to do that so yeah it just do it just doesn't work So, oh, actually, there is a way to fix it, but you have to pay for it. It's not free, really. 
you have to go to this dude's uh website and then shop and then all the mess that you buy this and then once you buy it you'll have all the shit. Mainly, you wouldn't want the, the the nouveau bypass, so you can play games like Stellar Blade or newer games that just released. Now, if anybody else has any other issues, let me know in the comments, and I'll make another video or I'll try to reply to you because that was basically it. Well, I hope this helped anybody at least. So.